The newest visual we just got for Kendrick's latest studio album represents Kendrick's realization that the wealth and status that he's amassed can't fix the trauma and internal struggle that's been haunting him. He's in this huge, beautiful house, but all that empty space is just a reminder of his loneliness and isolation from the outside world. The richer he gets, the less he can relate to others, the more he's able to drown his problems in spending like he admits to doing throughout the album. The new Mercedes with black G-wagon away from it was all for rap. As the lyrics of the song say, He's rich and he has everything he ever wanted materially, but he has a broken phone. A phone that we see several times throughout the video. A phone that represents his connection not just to the outside world, but to his spirituality and his inner self. He's made true healing and understanding his issues out of his reach by letting the temporary fixes of wealth get in the way of them. I'll be taking a closer look at the purposefully uncomfortable choreography, the color, and the wardrobe of this video, along with the lyrics of Rich Spirit and the Kodak Black narrated interlude that comes before it, to break down exactly how he conveys this very personal message. The the loneliness and darkness of this process is felt so deeply throughout the video, he squints at the curtain like he hasn't seen light in forever, and in a way this dance sequence, even though it fits the vibe of the song really well, is meant to be a little bit uncomfortable. A little like the Joker dancing in the bathroom scene, it gives us this feeling that we're watching Kendrick go a little bit crazy with all that time alone in such a huge house. The first impression is supposed to be, what the fuck is he doing? Talking to his shadow on the wall because it's the only other thing that's there? What he's making these steps in is really important to note too. These boots don't just have his album cover depiction of him as Mr. Morale on them. They juxtapose that savior status with the lows of his finally dealing with his trauma on Mother Eye Sober, which I'll be dropping a breakdown on soon. You could see the lines from the song like, I'm sensitive, I feel everything, I feel everybody written on the shoes, and in a way that's a representation of how the spending, the money he blew on shit like these boots, was a way of silently crying out for help about the things that he's finally able to open up about on that song. In these initial dance scenes, he's the damn era Kendrick, reveling in his first taste of superstar level commercial success as the character Kung Fu Kenny, at the height of his career but more lonely than ever. He's talking about his issues in this later scene into a phone that's line is cut off. His current way of coping is making him feel like he's opening up, but there's no one on the other line. He's dancing his problems away in this void where no progress in his healing can actually be made. By the end of the video though, the phone rings and he finally gets a lifeline to connect with the outside world and confront his trauma in a way he's been too afraid to do up until this point. Getting into how this lines up with the song, where he's starting to take off all his masks to true self-reflection. Beginning with what he identified in the beginning of the album as a spending addiction that runs in the family. I watched King by four cars in four months, you know the family dynamics on repeat. An addiction that... By the time we get to the second half of the album, he realizes it's something he always had hope would fix his problems. For both Kendrick and Kodak, coming from the humble beginnings that they did made them strive for the things they couldn't afford and a way out of the traps of poverty. What Kodak really represents is a different kind of leader, an alternate kind of Mr. Morale compared to Kendrick whose leadership is more based on social consciousness and message. Think about trap music in general, and the way it glorifies all these extreme levels of wealth, escaping the depths of poverty to become a rich superstar. Trap artists aren't moral examples, but they're still looked up to and put on a pedestal for getting to where they've gotten to in life. Future said, get a money counter, but he's not your savior. Just like Kendrick, Kodak is surrounded by yes men, fans, and these big steppers trying to be like him and validating his lifestyle because he's achieved that standard of financial success. And just like Kendrick, Kodak is realizing that this validation and his ability to inspire doesn't make him a savior, even if his lifestyle is what everyone thinks they want. The name of the interlude being called Rich is perfect and lines up with this message because the interlude examines what it really means to be rich. He starts off essentially saying that even with all the money that he could want, he's still broke. He's rich in material, but not in spirit. This is the song where Kendrick learns from Kodak's lesson Painting pictures put me in the loop. that being rich in wealth does not equal being rich in spirit and begins to act with the intention of making his spirit richer. Abandoning his phone, no phone, fasting, can't fuck with you no more, I'm fasting, and abstaining from sex. But this step of the process isn't without its own challenges. He still has to stand firm against criticism. Stop playing with me for a turn to a song. His cousin suing him. And my cousin tried to sue me like he got the privilege. And just maintaining the spiritual balance he's trying to introduce into his life. Trying to keep the balance, I'm staying strong. It takes strength and it's a constant process. And it doesn't all change right away. 
It's easy to be on the path of healing and relapse into old ways, but that shouldn't stop the journey. And he begins to act with the intention of making his spirit richer. That's why by the end of this video, the phone that's been broken, that connection to the outside world that was severed, finally rings, and Kendrick gets a lifeline to connect with the outside world and confront his trauma in a way that he's been too afraid to do up until this point. 